Hello and welcome to another video. This is Jennifer McGuire. So I filmed this video several weeks ago, but I'm just now getting around to sharing it with you. This is a closer look at this summer's Mama Elephant product release. Now I'm going to first start out by showing you all the products. You can kind of get an idea of what they're like in real life and also some ideas for using them. Then at the end of this video, I have several card and other kind of projects to share with you. So you can skip ahead to that if you prefer. I don't do these type of product release close-up videos that often, but only when I think a release is worth taking a closer look at. I'll start by going through the stamps, then the dies, and then I'll go through some projects. The first stamp set is the Mama Elephant Cool Penguins. I like that this is different. I don't think I have a set of little critters wrapping gifts, but I'm especially excited by the two penguins holding envelopes. As a card maker, I think those are fun to use, and you could even stamp those on the envelope of your card. I also think the other images would be cute on tags to add to your holiday gifts. Now I'll be using the little penguin with the envelope a little bit later in this video, so you'll be able to see it in action. And by the way, there are coordinating dies available. Okay, now this next stamp set, you've probably seen card examples around social media. This is the O Kitty Tree. It has a large pile of kitties that form a fun Christmas tree, along with lots of things that you can add to it to make it even better. Now, I am a dog person, but this is just adorable. So I actually have a pop-up tree card using this image that I'll show you at the end of this video. But keep in mind, there are lots of additional images that you can use with this to create a scene. And Mama Elephant is really good about including in the coordinating die set lots of dies so that you can cut out pretty much everything in the set. Now to go along this with this is the Trim the Tree stamp set. This can be used along with the O Kitty tree or used separately. You can see there's this string that fits perfect over the cat tree. So you could stamp that with maybe green and then do little gems for little lights going around the tree. Or you can use this separately with the little birdies holding the two ends of the str uh, string and hang the words love to you or joy or whatever you want on the string. There are also a couple more cat images on the bottom that go along with the kitty tree too. I like when there are multiple sets that work well together or could be used separately. For all you dog lovers out there, there is the Mama Elephant Yappy Wolf Miss stamp set. Now this is well thought out because these images are very similar in size to the cat images. So you can use them together if you want to. Later in this video, I'll have a fun interactive card using many of these images. One fun thing to note is there are two dogs that you can stamp that look like they're playing catch with a snowball. So you can make a fun scene with that. And the dog in the wreath image up there on the top works perfect on a front door die that I'm going to show you a little bit later. So keep that image in mind. Next we have the Mama Elephant Santa sleigh. Now this large Santa image in a sleigh would be perfect for an interactive card of some sort. You could do a slider card along with the reindeer, or you could do a pull tab card. I'll link to a pull tab card video here up in the top corner, and I think that would work really well with these images. And just like the other sets, the sizing of this works well with the other images, so you can create a really fantastic scene card by using them all together. Okay, so Mama Elephant also has many stamp sets that have smaller scale. And those can be used together also, and they're so much fun to use on a card because you can fit lots of images together. This is the Little Agenda Trains stamp set. So you can see there is a train track image and then lots of different train pieces you can put together and you can put different things in the train. So there's a little bear, there's a little uh, conductor, you've got the doggy, lots of images for another great scene card. I'll be using that little doggy one on a little house project later on in this video. Along the same size scale, we have the Little Elf Agenda stamp set. Keep in mind that in the past, Mama Elephant has had cat and dog images like these and several others. So you can use them with those sets if you already have them. So the Little Elf Agenda stamp set has pretty much every adorable elf you can find. I 
I don't love elves, I'll be honest, but these are cute elves, not like that elf that sits on the shelf and, and scares me, I don't know. These are happy elves. You can see there are lots of playful little scenes that you can put together. And of course, this can be used with the train set that I just showed you. Thankfully, the coordinating die set that is available cuts out all of these images, so you don't have to do the fussy cutting. I think it'd be fun to stamp these all stacked in a tree shape, kind of like that cat image that I showed you before, but you can have a tree shape of elves, or you could even stamp them maybe in a circle to give like a wreath look. These are also cute to stamp on holiday tags or on envelopes. Along the same lines, we have the little snowman agenda. These work well with those elves because the sizing is the same. And what's really fun is Mama Elephant puts a lot of clever images in here. So you have a snowman with sunglasses on and a tropical drink for those of you in a warm area. You also have a snowman holding a coffee or with reading a book with glasses on. You got everything covered here. Lila and I decided we're gonna stamp these onto small little circle die cuts and adhere them to a little baggie with a cookie in it to give to teachers and bus drivers and such this year. If you're looking for something a little more traditional, we have the Joy Ornaments stamp set. So you can stamp the J and the Y, and then you have a few options for the O at the center. You can use the snowflake, or you can use one of the ornaments kind of hanging down on the center of the card. And there is the sentiment to you and me or to the world that you can put just below it or on the inside of the card. I think it would be fun to die cut an ornament for the O and then have maybe something behind it in the window, maybe something sparkly, or you can make a shaker card with that little window. You can also use the snowflake or the ornament separately to create little gift tags to go on gifts. And you can also create very simple cards with this. You could just do basic stamping and quick coloring since they're pretty open images. And you can see the coordinating die set has some great shapes in it, including some hearts and stars. Now, I am a big fan of those sentiment stamp sets, especially when they have a scripty look to them that's very unique. Here we have the Mama Elephant Scripty Christmas. I like that they are kind of snug together, so you could easily stamp them on a circle die cut to go in the center of a card, or you can stamp them maybe on the back of an ornament that you create or a tag. Mama Elephant did a good job including a lot of different types of sentiments in here, everything from a more traditional Merry Christmas to something a little more fun like Bring on the Merry. Okay, now it's time for the dies in this collection. Here we have the Oh Joy Halo script. You know that I'm a big fan of any die sets that have the word along with the shadow die because it allows you to make your sentiments stand out more on a card. Now, the great thing about this is that you can cut off the word O if you want to, just so you have the word joy, so you have another option. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card here, so you can get a size idea that this fits nicely on a card. Next up is the Galactic Cover Die. This cuts a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece, so it covers a note card, with faux stitching around the edge. It also pokes tiny little holes and makes impressions of little stars. So there's a lot of texture to this one, and it's great for any kind of night sky background. Here you can see what it looks like on an A2 card. I also think it is fun to use along with an embossing mat, so you make an impression instead of die cutting with it. And there's the fun texture you get with that technique. It's nice to have both options. Now one of the most useful dies in this release, and one that I'm crazy about, is the fancy door frame die. So this cuts a few things. The first piece is the outside frame. It's four and a quarter by five and a half with faux stitching. Then there's this fun scallop pattern. Now this can be used on any simple card. All you have to do is add something simple in the center, even just a sentiment if you wanted to. But what I'm most excited about is the door die. Now this door die is super fun because you can create a window with it so that when you open the door, you see inside of the card. Or you can just add it on the front of the card so that when they open the door, they see some other images. Remember that dog image in the wreath? That'd be cute hanging on the front of it. And then you can have anything you want when you open the door. This could be used for a more cutesy card like with some of the images that I showed you earlier 
or you could do it with a more classic little wreath that you form on the front and something uh, more traditional on the inside, even just a sentiment. So this is one of those that I think you could use all year round, and I like that it includes the frame and the door. I didn't get to use this in today's video, but I plan to use that door soon. I just think there are so many fun ways you can use it. So lately I've been doing more interactive cards, and one of the type of cards that people have emailed me asking me to show is a waterfall card. I've never really wanted to make one by hand because it seemed very time consuming, but today I'm excited because Mom Elephant now has the flip slider dies, and this creates a little mini waterfall effect on your card. Now if you've never seen a waterfall card, don't worry, I'm about to show you. This is an inexpensive die set because it only has the three dies needed to create this. So let me go ahead and put one together for you so you can see. I'm using colorful paper so it's easy to see all the steps. First, you're going to accordion along the little score lines on this piece. On that part on the right, you're going to put some strong adhesive. I'm using double-sided tape for this. I find that works best. Right up against the first score line, you're gonna center up one of your pieces. I'm doing a rainbow assortment of colors, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, so now we can add some double-sided tape to the next area, the area right next to it between the score line and the piece that we put down. I'll take my next piece, line it up with the green, and also line it up with the next score line. So basically, we're adding a piece to each of these little rectangle areas made between these score lines that the die created. Now keep in mind, if you wanted to make a taller waterfall card, you could hand cut your own little pieces to glue on this. Make sure the width stays the same, but you can make them taller if you wanted. Once I have all of my pieces adhered together, it's very easy to assemble. See that long blue piece sticking out on the left? We're gonna fold that back behind all the other pieces. And there's a score line, so it's easy to do. You fold it back, then you flip it over. See those tiny little blue tabs sticking out on the left and right? Those you're gonna fold in almost like it's hugging that bigger blue piece, but you do not want to glue those together. Instead, on the front of the tabs, you're gonna put some strong adhesive. Make sure this is super strong, because this is all that's going to be needed to hold this to the card. You don't want to put glue on that big blue piece or your waterfall will not work. Once I remove the release paper, I can add this onto my card wherever I want. On the tab sticking out on the right, the blue tab, I can stamp pull here if I wanted to. So once I've adhered this down, all you have to do to make the waterfall card work is pull that tab and check it out. It just flips and you can have anything you want on those little pieces. Lila plans to add the letters of her best friend's name, Lucy, to these little panels so she can give it to her. Keep in mind that the Mama Elephant die set also includes a smaller die to create these little white pieces that you can add to each of the waterfall pieces. Since Lila took over that last card, I decided to make another. I like to keep interactive cards like this very simple, so the focus is on the interactive part. So I assembled my piece just like I did on the last example. But before I adhered each of those little rectangles, I stamped on both sides, so that when you flip the pages, you see lots of images. This time, I decided to add it to a card so that the pull tab hangs off the side. So this is a smaller card, it's three and a half by five. That way it will still fit in a traditional A2 envelope. Okay, so now you can see how this card works. You just pull the little pull tab and you can see all the fun little doggies on all the different frames. Now on the front of my waterfall, I stamped a small sentiment. It says, Happy Holidays, and it's from this older Mama Elephant stamp set that I think came out last year. This is one of my go-to stamp sets for the holidays because the messages are small, so you can easily add them onto tags, or like I did here on the front of my waterfall. To stamp pull, I use the Mama Elephant Lots of Letters stamp set. This one is fun because there are extra letters, so you can put all of your letters for your word down on your acrylic block and stamp them all at once. You don't have to repeat each letter. And for the background, I used one of my favorite snowflake stamps. This is an older one from Mama Elephant, and it worked perfect for an a tone-on-tone -tone background. 
So if you like to add interactive elements to your card and want a die set that's not too pricey, many interactive ones are, I would check out the flip slider die set. Now the other die set that I think is a must have from this release is the inside arch die set. You can see there's a large arch, a rounded one, a smaller one, and then three little rectangle pieces. All of these elements are meant to be added to the inside of a card for a pop-up feature. So let me show you with the big one here, just showing a quick example. You put double-sided tape along those two little flaps on the bottom. You fold along the score lines. Now that middle score line that's pointing up towards the camera, you're lining that up with the fold of your card and you press it down into your card. So that when you open up, open up the card, you have this arch that pops up. So you can add little stamped images or die cuts to that. Now there's also the smaller arch, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. And then those little rectangles with the score line at the center, those are also used to pop up. Now I asked uh, Chrissy and Angela over at Mama Elephant if I could share a few of their examples. Check out this using the larger arch. You've got that fun Santa sleigh scene. And then here's another scene card using the little tiny rectangle pop-ups too. These two cards are great examples of how you can use all of the different products today together to create scenes. And with these inside arch dies, you can create a scene on the inside of your card that pops up too. I'll link to these cards below if you want to learn more. Now I use the smaller inside arch die to create a pop-up kitty tree. Remember that kitty tree stamp set I showed you earlier? This is a very clean and simple card. On the front, I used a few of the kitties and a sentiment from that same kitty tree stamp set. I also stamped, colored, and die cut the kitty tree, and I'm scoring it right down the center using my scoreboard. I'll go ahead and reinforce that fold line. By folding it in the center, I can use this for the pop-up effect inside of the card. Using the small arch pop-up, I'm putting strong double-sided adhesive on the two little flaps. The stronger it is, the better, because you want to make sure it stays put on the inside. I'm also putting double-sided adhesive on the two rounded flaps. This is what I need to adhere to my tree. So let's start with the rounded flaps first. I'll move, remove the release paper, and I'll line this up so that the score line at the center of my arch lines up with the score line on my tree. Next, I can remove the release paper from the other flaps, and I'll add this to the inside of my card. Again, you want the score line of your tree or of the arch to line up with the score line of your card. So we have this very simple card on the outside, but when you open it up, you have the fun kitty tree surprise. There's plenty of room to write any messages around the tree or stamp additional things if you wanted to, but I decided to keep it simple. I like that Mama Elephant included a large arch and a small arch, so you can change up what you have popping up inside of the card. Okay, my next example is actually not a card, but a fun little box or ornament. You could use it as either. I'm going to go through this assembly very quickly just to save time, but it is easy to assemble. This is the Mama Elephant Mini Milk Box Die Set. It has the large die to create the milk box itself, but then also lots of additional dies that you can use to decorate the box. Keep in mind that all of those little agenda stamp sets that I showed you earlier work really well to add to the outside of this box to decorate it. Now when you need to create the milk box itself, you just want to die cut from different cardstocks. I like using a heavier weight cardstock. From the large milk box die, you want to cut two. You need two pieces to create the box. Now you'll see that all the score lines are already included on this, so it makes it very easy to figure out where to fold. Now if you want to have any windows or doors on your milk box, you want to go ahead and die cut that before you assemble. Now I decided I wanted it on the front of the house, a little window, but you can add anything you want to each of the four centers. Next we're going to reinforce each of the score lines. The score lines are easy to see thanks to the die, so you just want to reinforce them with your bone folder so you have nice creases. Now you'll see that this is very easy to assemble from here. You're putting strong double-sided tape on the little flaps that stick out from both pieces. You'll remove the release paper from one of these, 
and line it up on the left side of the other so that you'll have a longer piece that just needs to be folded together to create the house because of course the house needs the four different sides. Once you push that firmly in place, you can fold over the other little flaps, remove the release paper, and then just fold the entire piece in half to press that adhesive onto the other side. And there you have the start of your milk box. Now for the bottom, you can fold them in however you want. I just glued all four flaps together on the bottom. And now from here, you can either keep the top of this open so you can add something fun inside, or you can close it up so that it could be like a little ornament or decoration. So skipping ahead here a bit, I added little die cuts to decorate this from the milk box die set. And then I added the little penguin holding the card from the first stamp set that I showed you in this video. I also added a little doggy in the window from the little agenda train set. I thought this was so cute and would be fun to put a little line of them maybe on a windowsill. Oh, and Lila wanted to say hi. Okay, so if you wanted to close this up, it's very easy to do. You have a little roof die, and there's even a handle if you want to have a handle on the top. I just put some silver string through a large needle to help me to feed it through the small holes that are included on all of these die cuts. So I feed it from one side to the other, and this will tie it closed with a bow. But again, you can leave it open or do whatever you want. I really like that there are different options. If you're like me and like to use paper to make crafts other than just cards, you might want to check out the Mama Elephant Milk, Milk Box die set. Okay, my last two projects feature a couple older products from Mama Elephant, but I've really been wanting to share them in a video because they are so much fun. Lila and I have been using them a lot and we have a couple ideas to share with you today. So the two products are the Mama Elephant Inside Pop Bunny and Cat die set. That's the one on the right. And then on the left, we have the Book Buddy Bear and Dog set. Now you can use these together or separate. This set here creates a dog and a bear, and you can create fun bookmarks with it or elements to put on a card. The set on the right does the bunny and the cat, and it creates a pop-up feature that you can have on the inside of your card. So by using them together, you have a lot more options. So my first project are the bookmarks. I wanted to show you how easy they are to assemble. I dug through my scraps and found some uh, card stocks that I could use, a great way to use up scraps. And I die cut all of the pieces. They're very easy to assemble. So I am even making a little bow from some pink glitter scrap paper. This bow set is from an older Mama Elephant die. It's a bow die set and it creates a dimensional bow. You just fold the two side flaps together and then wrap the long piece around the middle. I use liquid adhesive for it and then hold it together just long enough for it to dry. You can add various elements that are included in the die set or you could add inking or shading with an ink blending tool and distress ink. The sky is the limit with these little guys, but I decided to keep them pretty simple. Now here's the body, you just fold it over, put a little adhesive towards the top, make sure it's strong, and add the head to it. And here you have a cute little bookmark. It even stands up on its own if you just want to use it as a decoration, or you can glue it to the front of a card. This is the Craft a Life You Love book by Amy Tan. I love this book, but I wanted to just demonstrate how the little bookmarks slide over a page and keep your spot. Lila loves hers, so we're gonna make some more for some of her friends. You could even make them extra special by die cutting the pieces from glitter paper, like I did with the bunny on the left. Here you can see how easy they are to stand up on their own. You can also team this up with the Mama Elephant Goodreads stamp set. There are different kind of reading sentiments that you can stamp on the back of your little guys or on the inside. And remember to add the tail to the back too, because those are included in the die sets. So we're gonna do some stamping with the stamp set on our bookmarks before we give them to Lila's friends. Okay, now my favorite is where you can add these little animals as pop-ups inside of a card. Okay, to add a, that pop-up feature, we're going to first add adhesive to the back of one set of legs. Then you're going to glue it to the inside of your card so that the score line at the feet lines up with the score line of your card. I'll do this for both the cat and the dog. Next, you need to add the body. So you'll put adhesive on one flap and line it up with his back legs. And you'll do that again with both of the animals. 
Notice that on the back of the cat, I added some stripe detail die cuts. That's included in the die set. I'm telling you, these die sets include lots of little details, which really makes it fun. Next, I'm adding liquid adhesive to the other flap of the body and adding the front set of legs, and I'll do that to both. Finally, we can add liquid adhesive to the neck of the animals and add the little head too. Make sure they're close enough together so that they don't hang out the side. Keep in mind you could do one animal on the inside if you wanted to instead. And don't forget to add a little tail to each of your little guys here. Now it's time to add their front feet to the other part of the card so that they stand up when you open it. So I'll put some strong liquid adhesive onto the bottom of their paws and then I'll press them down onto the bottom of the card. You want to make sure that they stay put before you close the card. You want to make sure it's dry and you can be sure that the animals pop up nicely when you open the card. Here you can see what they look like from the side. You have your little standing animals. Now I kept the front pretty simple. I die cut a large pink glitter heart and added that to the center. I also die cut another kitty head and dog head but this time I'm adding them to the card with little mini action wobblers. These are little springs that flatten nicely so that when they're in the envelope, they're nice and flat, but when you open up the card, the element you have adhered to it pops up and wiggles around. I also added a small sentiment strip underneath it that says, you bring out the best in me. And then I have additional smaller die cut pink hearts that I can add to the inside of the card to pull everything together. Here you can see the card flattens nicely so you can send it through the mail, but when you take it out, the heads kind of pop up and they'll wiggle around when you move them. And when you open up the card, you have the two little guys standing inside. And remember, there's lots of room there to stamp additional messages or write something personal. I just really wanted to show you this set because I just think they're fun and can be used in so many ways. Remember that that inside pop-up animal with the body in the middle can even be made separately, not inside of a card. So you have little standing animals. And by the way, the sentiment on the front that I like so much that says, you bring out the best in me, is from this Mama Elephant Creativity is Contagious stamp set. It's been out for a while, but it has lots of great sentiments. All right, there you have a long video showing you the newest Mama Elephant release along with a few other favorites. I hope this was helpful in giving a closer look at the release. In the middle are a couple other videos you might like. You can hit the subscribe button if you're interested, and I have all of the products linked below in my YouTube description. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, and we'll see you again soon.